How to escape the enemy's attack. Hello great people, it's good to have you back to Emmy Narrate channel. As the earth lives, as long as we are human, there comes a time in our lives where we face some oppositions of the enemy. Your best friend today could be your worst enemy tomorrow. Your colleague at work, your neighbor, just anyone can be your enemy. You don't need to offend or wrong them, they not need anything tangible to be provoked to express their venom. As a Christian, you have to be spiritually and physically alert. This video shows how to escape the enemy's attack. Kindly watch to the end. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, Ephesians 6 13-17. Judith, how dare you send such a message to me? What was wrong with what I commented about you? You didn't have any right to reach out to me. Why did you send that to me? Hello Sandra, good morning to you. Hold it there, what is good about this morning? I need an answer to my question. Sandra, everything is good about this morning. It is the Lord's great day and it is marvelous in our sight. Trust you are fine. Yes, I left a message for you. I believe you must have read it, because it showed delivered. I expected you to call me back, as I called you twice, and didn't have a response. So, I left the message to hint you on what I called for. Judith, I don't know whether you have seen my teeth, or see me smiling. Do not hello me, you are the one that sent that nonsense message to me. How dare you? How dare me how? Nonsense message how? Why was the message nonsense? What makes you so furious? Is it called for? Yes, it is called for. I don't get you, please, make me understand. The message I sent to you wasn't bad, it was a friendly message of the displeasure concerning the comments you made about me in a post on social media. I didn't like it or find it funny. And, I didn't want to call you out there, that was why I called you and when you didn't pick up the calls, I sent you a message for you to delete the comment you made mentioning my name in it. Oh, you call that a friendly message? Telling me that you didn't like what I commented? That I should delete it? Was it your phone I borrowed to make the post? Was it your data? Did you buy data for me? Wow, just wow. Hmm, you are telling me that it's your phone and data that you used in writing a comment about me. You forgot it was my name you mentioned in the post. My name, not your name. Mine. I didn't like what you did and you know I don't joke like that or do same to you or any other person. I respect people's privacy and life generally. So, it may have been your data, your phone, but, it was my name, my privacy you invaded. So, please, I didn't you making a comment about me. I wasn't nice. Now I can see why you are still single at your age. An old woman, old cargo like you. No husband and children, I can see why I wasn't comfortable with you coming to visit my baby when you wanted to come with my friend, Geraldine. Don't worry, with this attitude of yours, you shall remain like that without marriage and children, men shall continue to use you and dump. I don't get you, you did what I didn't like, and I called your attention to it privately, instead of you to apologize and delete the comment that displeased me, you jumped 360 degrees to insult me. How does my message to you in the comment you made relate with your baby? Well, I never intended or planned coming to visit your baby, it was Geraldine my friend, who happens to be your friend as well that wanted me to accompany her to visit you. The day we wanted to come, you declined and said you weren't around. If it was because of me that you declined her visit, you could have just said that to her, and also keep it to yourself. You didn't need to tell me. I didn't need to know. And if you hated or disliked me that much that you were uncomfortable with me coming to see your baby, how come to go about making comments with my name? Why didn't you keep my name away from your mouth or comments? Please, is your baby Jesus Christ? You are asking me if my baby is Jesus Christ. Have you given birth before? Don't worry you will never have a baby in your life. Sandra, you lie. You are a liar from the pit of hell. I will marry and I will have my own babies from my womb, and your evil desires, your evil words shall not penetrate me or have anything on me. You should be grateful to God for blessing you instead of using it to mock me or any other person, because I did you no wrong. 
I did you no evil. I have never done any wrong to you. If I have, say it now for me to hear. You are not my friend like that, you are just my colleague, me and you have never had a deep conversation for you to say out of it I might have offended you. You don't know anything about me, you know nothing about me. So, your evil words can't harm me or have any effect on me. As far as I can tell, you are not God, and you don't have the final say in my life. I have examined myself and found that I have not intentionally, directly or indirectly wrong you in any way, so, why would you do what I don't like them turn around to say more evil things to me instead of simply apologizing? Just so you know, you never can tell what tomorrow holds because that which you use to mock me or another person can be taken away from you. I have passed you, I have passed. You will cry and be tired, no evidence. It will pain you for a long time. You will see. I don't understand you, did we have any problem before now? I won't see anything bad, I'll only see good all the rest of my life. I will marry and have children. Because, when you wanted to marry, I bought your uniform for the marriage, I attended both your traditional marriage, white wedding and reception. So, as long I added supported your marriage, my own shall come to manifestation and I shall be fulfilled. Keep your negative tongue away from me. God doesn't need your approval to make me fulfilled in every area of life as I desire. So rest. Imagine you telling me what I did was bad. Like bad how? You were supposed to just laugh over it and not tell me what I did was bad. I used to think you are an intelligent person, but, you have proven you are not. I used to think you are a nice person, but, obviously, you are such an evil person. An evil woman. Old young frustrated and desperate woman. As you can see, I am happily married with children, and I'm doing well even in my business with my husband. What do you have to show? You give lame excuses of not marrying, then talk to me because I even did you a favor mentioning your name. I'm not surprised, you are a frustrated woman. I thought you were a good person, but, I was wrong. So wrong. You are just a bad and jealous person. Wow, you are rather an evil person. Your words are vulgar, no remorse at all in what you did. For you to even say these things about me means you did what you did intentionally, not with a good mind or mistake. My inbox was free for you to private chat me, but no, you won't but rather wait for my reaction. You were lurking for the right opportunity for you to attack me, and when it came even though it's not the right platform for you to take a chance for abusing me, you grab it because you feel another one may not present itself. You jumped from 1 to 100 to express your bitterness towards me. It shows how dark your mind is towards me. You can say whatever you like, you are a frustrated woman. Let me see how you will progress in life. You will never see anything good in life. This life you are having now shall be your best life. Your best life shall be your yesterday. God. Sandra, please, remind me again how I knew you. What kind of human being are you? What kind of problem is this? Sandra, I return your negativity and evil words to you. I decree and declare your ill words back to sender. Your desires shall be upon you and none shall have an effect in my life and destiny, because you are the one who wronged me, you are the one who did what I didn't like, I never wronged you or came at you before. I simply called your attention to what I didn't find pleasing, a simple apology is, I'm sorry, would have salvaged that after all, the deed was already done. But no, you would rather add more salt to the injury. It's crystal you were nursing something evil against me, you have been my enemy while I was walking casually without any of such thoughts. You now feel this is the right opportunity for you to express your rage. Even when it's uncalled for. I return your arrow back to you. Please leave my office, I have had more than enough of you already. I'm not interested in listening to your gibbering any longer. Please, leave my office, I have some work to do. There is no competition in destiny. I am not in competition with you, we are not related, we are not from the same womb, even if we were, I am not in any competition with you. So, Sandra, you have no bragging rights with my life and destiny. Excuse me, I have work to do. Thank you. You think so. You bet with me and see. We shall see, I promise you, you shall not progress beyond this level. You will always remember, you will wish our paths never crossed. You don't know who you have dared. It will shock you. Bring it on. I'm ready for you spiritually and physically. 
I'm not afraid of you whether you are devil or assistant devil. Shame, how you flaunts yourself as a pastor's wife. What will you preach to the women? With you as a pastor's wife I can only imagine your congregation. Very shameful, it's none of your business, God is a man. No please, keep God's name out of your mouth. You didn't get the things you bragged about through your faithfulness but because of God's grace. Then, you shall not continue to mock the grace to abound. If someone come to you with kind of cases ours, as a pastor's wife, how would you handle it? Shame, please, excuse me, I have work to do. I have important things to take care of, kindly leave my office, leave my life and my destiny. God will not let my life in the hands of the wicked or enemy. So excuse me, we shall see. Excuse me please. Hum, this Judith doesn't know who she has just dared. She feels she can use the name of being a pastor's wife to blackmail me. What has being a pastor's wife got to do with my anger with her? Imagine, I'll make her life misery. Because I'm a pastor's wife doesn't mean I can't do her anything. Being a pastor's wife doesn't mean anything. I will ensure she regrets her actions towards me for the rest of her life. Judith, 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 hum, I promise you, you shall live to regret it. You shall regret ever knowing me, and I will make that workplace miserable for you, you shall run from that job. You will not even enter any environment I am, you will get it hot for me. You have touched alligator pepper. You have touched the scent leaf and shall feel the scent from it. You challenge me as who? Me, Sandra, a whole Sandra. Hum, never, maybe it's another person. You have caught a tiger by its tail, let me see how you shall escape me. Imagine, telling me that I don't talk like a pastor's wife. Who said she should not marry a pastor? Did I stop her from marrying a pastor? We shall see. Hello Geraldine, trust you are fine. I'm just returning from work. There's something I wish to tell you. Sandra verbally attacked me today and made threats to me. I wish to go to her church and report her to her pastor. I would wish their senior pastor to call the two of us and address the issue, let her tell me if I have had any problem with her before. I'm so pissed right now. Hum, Judith, I never believed Sandra could do or say a thing like that. I feel she is going through tough times. Something must be going on with her for her to be triggered and irritated in such a manner. It's not long she finished calling me to complain about you. I didn't even know the kind of thing Miss she said to you, I would have rebuked her immediately. I only told her that I'll call you later and hear from you as well. Don't worry about what she said to you, just pray about it. Hand over everything to God. He knows our hearts, he knows our thoughts, and he has the final say in our lives. No man or woman should play a god over anybody. I'll talk to her again, I'll ask her to apologize to you. Please, let go and let God. Please, don't go to their church and report the case to her senior pastor, their income is also dependent on it. In case they suspend the husband. Just let it go, God will heal you completely and grant your heart desires, it's just a matter of time. It's alright Geraldine, I have heard you, I have no ill mind about her. I was just shocked with her words and my conscience is clear because I haven't done anything to deserve her threats and curses. I trust God who is a righteous judge that it will backfire. But, truly, the thought of her being a pastor's wife and always professing to being a Christian broke me. I felt really hurt. It hurts differently. Why would she display so much hate, anger and bitterness towards me? She trespassed against me, I called her attention to it then she transgressed, next she began pouring iniquity. Mercy goodness, I didn't see it coming. It's alright. Her threats and negativity will never get to me, because I know who I am, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Thank you for listening, later. Judith, Judith, the too smart and intelligent Judith. What should I do to you first? You never knew who you dared, you can't blackmail me as a pastor's wife. Okay, I will ensure that I scatter your relationship. I told you men shall use you and dump, then you shall have problems at the workplace until you are sacked. I told you, I warned you you felt like all-knowing. I told you, you will only know a better yesterday. Judith, you have no idea that you have become my so an enemy. 
I'll ensure you don't have a successful relationship that will lead to marriage, and you will have problems at workplace. This life will humble you, I'll start from tomorrow. You will see Shej Promax. I promise. Ha 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 ha. You never see me coming. You ain't seeing anything yet. What kind of dream do I have like that? Why did I see Sandra in my dream? Why was she struggling my shoes with me? Dear Lord, I don't understand what's going on. Please, I need your help. Your word says in Psalms 121, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, and even forevermore. Dear Lord, my trust is in you. I hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteous. Your word says, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Thank you for your mercies. Father, I'm sorry for everything I have done against. I pray in your mercy that you pled my cause. According to your word, as you answered to David, please answer to me, in Psalms 35, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me, say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul, let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. 5. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself, into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth, I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother, I bowed down heavily, as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together, yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not, they did tear me, and ceased not, with hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation, I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself, and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it, let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy, and be glad, that favor my righteous cause, yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long.
Hmm, congratulations oh on your marriage. Finally, you got married. It's like how long now, we are expecting to come and sing and eat in your child's dedication service oh. I hope it's happening soon because it's high time you started. Good morning to you too womb watcher, giver of children, lo, children are the inheritance of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. I shall carry my own children. Thank you. Ah, is it fight? Please oh, sorry oh, eh hey, Judith, did you have problems with your report? It seems the MD is now not angry with you as before oh. How is your duty now? Sandra, were you expecting me to have problems with my report? Please, kindly go to your office, I have some work to do, thank you. You may excuse me, thank you for watching, how do you escape the enemy's attack? You escape by applying wisdom, using the word of God as your weapon of warfare. Praying consistently and fasting if you have to. You plead for mercy, you call on the blood of Jesus Christ and mostly, you don't reveal much for people to know until your testimony materializes. People don't attack what they don't know. When you tell your friends, your enemies gets to hear. Enemies set traps for us, but we use prayers and the word of God to reverse their evil deeds. May God grant us understanding in Jesus' name, Amen. Please, remember to subscribe to Emmy Narrate channel. God bless you abundantly as you do so.